there's a time when you've got to rest and give your body the chance to recuperate. But when that time is over, you've got to, in a measured way, go back to doing something. There's places to see, there's a bike to ride. told to breathe deeply and uh, well those of you that saw my last video you know I come a cropper fell off this bike really hard actually and it's a long way to fall you know uh, I'm sat I'm sat quite high on this bike and uh, I ended up I ended up down there on the ground Got to be careful. So the doctors I went to the hospital after. Let me tell you, let's start this from the beginning. I fell off on Sunday, damaged my chest, uh, probably broke some ribs. And I lasted until Wednesday, and things weren't getting any easier. So I went to the hospital. My friend Dickie took me to the hospital. Thanks, Dickie. And the doctor saw me. Didn't have to wait very long either, thankfully. And he said, uh, listen to my chest. And he said, uh, the most important thing, he says, is to get you breathing deeply. Because at the moment, you're just taking shallow breaths. And I couldn't breathe deeply because it hurt. Whenever I inflated my rib cage, it hurt. So he said, I need to get you on painkillers basically. So I'm on three different painkillers now. Uh, two of them are over the counter, ibuprofen and paracetamol. And the third one is, uh, what's it called? Codeine, codeine phosphate. Right, let's get some deep breathing going. So Doc says, get some, you've got to breathe deep. So he gave me these painkillers. And uh, well, up until that point, I hadn't taken any painkiller medication at all. So I took these tablets and uh, within an hour or two, I felt pretty good again. Uh, and he, he did say, probably advisable not to get back on the bike at the moment in case you fall off. Because if you fall off, your rib cage is a bit well damaged, you know. So uh, anyway, I can't. This I can't walk. I prefer to cycle, and uh, I wanted to get back on the bike. And not only that, it was my birthday the day before I had the accident on the 18th of October, and uh, I'd previously fitted a new saddle to this bike, and I'd also uh, bought a suspension seat post. So. I was really uh, keen to get back on the bike, give it a try. So um, that's the reason why I'm back out on the bike. Probably prematurely, but I'm not doing too bad at all. Painkilling meds are working a treat. 
when they when they ease off the pain does come back uh, but pretty much inflating my chest now properly and uh, I'm doing all right so just a, a quick uh, video for uh, for those of you uh, a bit concerned as to what might have happened uh, I didn't have an x-ray he didn't x-ray my chest so I don't know if I've broken ribs or cracked ribs or what but there was a fair bit of crunching going on when I was breathing and moving my rib cage so I assume I've probably broken at least one possibly two ribs uh, but it's not going to hold me back not much anyway to stop to, to admire the view that's uh, Berry Town over there on the outskirts of a small uh, village called Blunsdon anyway I'll show you the uh, suspension seat post uh, this is it I went for um, a Suntour NCX, apparently quite a generic design, uh, and it's sort of a funny cantilever. It's got a, a piston which goes up and down inside the um, the seat tube or the seat post, and then the the whole uh, seat sort of cantilevers back. And it does that apparently. I don't know how true this is. It's to maintain the same uh, seat to pedal height all the time. So when you go over bumps, that doesn't change. But what I can say is that the uh, the seat post is the seat the suspension seat post is incredibly comfortable now, especially combined with that new uh, TRK saddle. I really like it. I'm just cycling along uh, Berry Town Lane now, going past uh, St Leonard's Church. Making my my way to Castle Hill, where there is uh, an Iron Age hill fort. But it's a funny fort, it's not like a proper circular enclosure, like we have up on the, the downs at Uffington and Barbary and Liddington, it's different to that. It's more of a sort of a, one side of it is fortified and the rest of it just blends into the landscape. So there it is, you can just see uh, the, the part of the ring, well, semi, semi ring ditch just in front of me there. And then uh, beyond that, the land dips down, and uh, you're looking north towards uh, Cheltenham, Stroud, Sirencester, all that over that way.
So uh, I hope the uh, the drone footage showed you a bit of what the uh, the Castle Hill Iron Age Hill Fort looked like. Apparently there were flint shards that were found there indicating that the area has been inhabited perhaps going back to the Neolithic. Uh, I think they said something about 4,500 years of uh, occupation quite possibly in that area. Anyway, uh, making my way back home now. So it's just a short video really just to let you know I'm alright after my fall. Uh, it knocked the wind out of me, but as James Bond would say, shaken not stirred.